Why, hello there, YouTube. It is me, the moderator's opinion. Today, I would like to make a video about the white rice. As you can see, I am the white rice. I have this tie and beautiful clothes. Surely it is okay to be me, a white man. I don't know what that voice is. I'm dressed up because I went to a job interview and I thought it would be funny to just do the video while in my Sunday best. Because it is in fact Sunday. I want to make a quick video on this thing. It's okay to be white, which has been doing the rounds recently. First, I want to start off by talking about Mouthy Buddha, who is a YouTuber. He made a video called the Jewish, what's the Jewish question? And was Hitler a bad person? He said he dog whistles to the alt-right or people who want a white ethnostate and are obsessed with race. He said that when he sees a black person, he instantly starts thinking about how black people have low IQs. But he also said he doesn't want to be like that and he doesn't want to be that kind of person. So he's going to change his ways. On his latest video, is it not okay to be white? It's just another dog whistle to racists. It's just another white victim narrative that people can say, oh my god, our way of life is being destroyed. It's not even okay to be white. I'm not even allowed to be a white person anymore. I'm a huge victim because being white is so incredibly difficult to make good. Because a growing culture of anti-white rhetoric does exist. And it goes far beyond mere rhetoric. It embeds itself inside the foundations of academia. It surrounds itself on top of the highest peaks of mainstream media, or Hollywood, or foreign policy. These are all truths about race relations in the Western world. Was anyone in our general community surprised by the reaction of hysteria from a completely innocuous poster saying it's okay to be white? It's not surprising in the least that the left or progressives or all who fall under that banner hated it, that they see it as a hate crime or emotional terrorism or racism. And the video follows not long after he said, I don't want to be like this. I don't always want to think about race. I don't want to be a racist person. So I'm going to change. It's probably been barely a week and you're already putting out dog whistling videos again. I think we just got to call it for what it is. Mouthy Buddha is an alt-right racist and he's trying to create a white victim grievance narrative that his audience just laps up. And I don't think he was steel manning anyone this time. I think he's just trying to say, hey, white members of my audience, Let's enjoy our racial grievances and propping up the alt-right. A lot of people got angry at me and others for saying Mouthy Buddha was an alt-writer who is a racist, but we were fucking right. We were 100% a million percent bajillion quadrillion gillion right correctness. And I think if you've just got a problem with the truth, I mean... Too bad, man. Too bad. Anyways, what is this It's Okay To Be White thing all about? Well, I looked up some information about it. KnowYourMeme.com says it was started by 4chan. 4chan is kind of like the rancid dog turd of the internet. Where people with anime avatars hang out to think of ways to defend Donald Trump and white ethnostatists. And they thought if we put up signs that say it's okay to be white all over the place, people will get offended and it will be like, ha! Huh, so it's not okay to be white, we caught you. And lo and behold, some people did get offended. There's a little bit of nuance to this because it depends in what context you're putting up the sign. If I was walking down the street, for example, and I looked at a bunch of flyers and posters pasted to a wall, and one of them said, it's okay to be white, even if it was quite prominent, I would probably just think, okay, yeah. I mean, I'm white, I have no Problems being white, although some anti-Semites would say I'm not white because I've got a little bit of Jewish blood. So, I don't know if I'm allowed in the club, but, I mean, for all intents and purposes, I'm a white person going around being white, doing white stuff. Hi, I'm a white guy. I look pretty white to me. And even just out on the street, if I saw a sign that said it's okay to be white, I would be like, yeah? Okay. Like, I, there's no problem with that for me. But one of the signs was put up inside a high school. Now, I actually think that's quite a lot different if you put up a sign that says it's okay to be white in a high school because that's a lot more of a community. And I think if you're a student or a teacher walking around that school and then you see the sign that says it's okay to be white, you might look at it and think, who put this up? Uh, why is it here? Did someone in the school say it's not okay to be white? Who said it's 
not okay to be white. Or you might think, are some students trying to create racial division? I would want to know, why is somebody putting material on a message board which could create conflict amongst the students for no particular reason? But that's it, it's 4chan, you know, it's like, it's trolling. You can say, look, it is okay to be white, but we just, there's no reason why your sign should be up. Non-white students are walking past it a lot and being like, is there some racial issue in the school? I think it's needless and unnecessary, and it's kind of like this white grievance, fragility, white victimhood narrative, and you are just putting it out there into the bloodstream of the school to confuse everybody. I know your meme did show a person found one just on the street. I'm not sure what street it was. And they were like, this is outrageous, and they tore it down and shit. I wouldn't go that path, but I also think I can recognize why people might have more of a problem with it than me. For me, like, being white, I just don't know why I would give a fuck at all. It's okay to be white, alright, whatever. But if someone feels like there is a system of white supremacy that they are afraid of being singled out by police, for example, or bullied, or mistreated, or not given a fair shake, people who live with a greater amount of fear of being persecuted than I do, because, I mean, I don't really feel that. I mean, I guess maybe some white people do, but I, I don't. I can't really relate to that. I feel fairly privileged. That people with that perspective might see that and think, something's going on here. There are racist people in this neighborhood or the school or at this workplace who want to cause problems with people who look like me, people who are not white, that it can make them feel uh, more unsafe. And I feel like the approach of maybe like anti feminists like skepticologists or whatever the fuck these people are called, their approach is more to say, fuck your feelings and fuck what you think. I don't care if something concerns you. It's okay to be white, stop crying. That that's their approach, but my approach is more like, why do you think that? Okay, I see. I'm listening to your concerns. You've got some valid points. I can't necessarily relate to those, but I get where you're coming from. As to whether that means they should take the signs down, maybe it's partly my privilege speaking, but I see no reason why they should be taken down in like a public space. Maybe it's outside your house, you don't want it there. If I did take it down, it wouldn't be in a rage like that person online or anything, but I understand much more taking it down in a school or a workplace. It's not conducive to a harmonious workplace for people to start doing racial trolling. Where the issue is not about whether it's okay to be white, what do you mean, is it okay to be white? How can it be wrong to be what you look like, or whatever, or who you are? That makes, like, no sense to me. It's not about that. It's about these tense conversations around race that you're just throwing into these spaces. If I saw a sign that said it's okay to be black in a workplace. What's this doing here? It's okay to be a Jew. Yeah, I mean, it is okay to be a Jew, but why is this here? It's a troll. It's just... It has no... It has no real place. It's not appropriate. And I think when it comes to being white, people are angry and frustrated and annoyed that they get dismissed because they're white. Because people are like, you wouldn't understand, you've got privilege, you don't get it. I think people hate that kind of thing, and I've been talked down to in that way before as well, and I don't like it. But I think if someone treats me that way, or even if a whole bunch of people treat me that way, like, shut up, white boy, you can't talk, you don't know what it's like, you can't have an opinion on this shit. Even if that's a wide point of view, I'm still just liable to treat that particular group of people like they're a bunch of assholes. Like, look, you're a bunch of dickheads, I don't care if you're trans or gay or bi or I don't care what the fuck you are. You're treating me really terribly for no reason. I haven't talked down to you. I haven't tried to take up your space. I've said to a trans person, well, you are being really fucking rude to me. You're being a total douche. And they're like, you can't talk to me like that. I'm a trans person. I'm like, I don't care who you are. You're an asshole. Who gives a shit what you are? But I'm not liable to say, because this bunch of people have treated me badly because I'm white, I must be a victim because I'm white and me being white is hard in my life. Like, no. It's just when you butt heads with certain communities, uh, rhetoric around you being white and that being, I don't know, problematic or something. That kind of shit can pop up. But it has no impact on my life. It's not gonna have any impact on a job interview that I might have. It's not gonna have any impact on the fact that I was born quite privileged and I'm well off and I can really just go do whatever the fuck I want with that me being white making it any more challenging or difficult and in any way. A bunch of people of a minority or marginalized group being rude to me doesn't mean shit for my life. Being white for me and for a lot of people is fairly easy. If there are some people who've been persecuted for being white, could be out there. To me, it seems like it's rare, but I don't agree that there couldn't be some pockets of society where there's not persecution against white people. And I believe in systemic racism too, but I also believe in individual racism. And I think that can apply to white people. So I think it comes down to this sense that white people often have 
that they are sick of minorities and other groups always talking about their own issues, always talking about their own problems, always dismissing white people when they say they have a problem or they have a concern. And it's a real cycle of grievances that are created. If you call somebody else a racist, you don't necessarily know if they are being racist from a place of knowledge and knowing and understanding that they're being racist or from a kind of low self-esteem a need to be valued and a lack of understanding if you go from zero to racist in 2.5 seconds that can have negative consequences and blowbacks where people are too proud and too ego driven that they quadruple down and then they create this like reverse it's not really because i don't really believe in reverse things but i'll just say it this time reverse victimhood sense of people are always so mean to the white people. For me, it's very easy to shrug off. I don't care. Why would I give a shit just because some people call me a racist or some people say I'm privileged and should shut up. So what? I mean, they can say what the fuck they want. Like, who cares? That's my attitude about it. But I know that other people are going to feel differently and they feel like I'm being put upon, I'm being victimized. White people need the chance to complain. White people need the chance to say, I'm white. And that's okay, and that's fine. That's not how this 4chan thing started. It started as a stupid troll. But I also understand that perspective amongst white people. So I guess I am stuck a little bit in the middle here. Because I can understand there are people who are going to want to tear those signs down. And I don't necessarily relate to that point of view. Because I can't, because it's not my experience. And also not relating to a bunch of aggrieved white people being like, Look, we want to be the focus. We want our problems to be the big deal here. We want to say that people really hate white people and this, this is all this anti-white bigotry and etc. When it's like, come on, for most of you, being white is not any kind of impediment to your progress in society. It's not creating any barriers. It's not creating any obstacles. Obviously, every human struggles. Every human has difficulty. Maybe you lack privilege in other ways, like you were born in a trailer park or something. Abusive parents, you're not going to want to hear about your privilege because you're white, because your life is not easy. It's really hard. But now that stuff happened to you because you're white, that happened to you because there's a lot of randomized stuff in society, not just what skin color you have, but where you're born and who you're born to. But you're not going to have some added stigma from being white that black people also have placed on top of them. So I think when we talk about white privilege, we also have to understand it's not like a zero-sum game where if you have white quote-unquote privilege, nothing bad is going to happen to you and you're not going to have a tough life. Because tons of white people have tough lives, of course, because there's a lot of white people. The question is solely about to what extent does being white make your life tougher? And like I said, there could be pockets of society where being white is harder and you're discriminated against. It's possible. So I guess I would just say at the end of the day, is it okay to be white? Yeah. It's okay to be white. And it's okay to be black. And it's okay to be Asian. It's okay to be Mexican. And it's okay to be from any country in the fucking world. It's okay to be Muslim. It's okay to be Christian. It's okay to be a, a cat. A cute fluffy cat who's doing well because his urinary tract food seems to have him peeing up a storm. It's okay to be whatever the fuck you are, obviously. It's just a question of social intelligence. Do you understand that randomly throwing racial stuff into situations might create a bit of confusion? If so, congratulations. That is a sane perspective. Thank you.